Yeah, hi. Uh, so in last video, we saw about how to implement the camera, how to have an action button. And in this video, how we are going to see how to read the text in a camera, actually text recognizer in the uh, camera using how to recognize text things. So we are going to use this analyzer right now. And before that, I just go and show you the dependency which we need over here, this one. And you can find it some uh, basic things over here. Uh, this is a text recognizer. So you have a two set of dependencies, unbundled and bundled. So some major difference for both things. You can find it over here in Google ML Kit website. Okay. So these are the dependencies. We are. I am going to use this one, module unbundled plugin. So we have to add this one meta tag in our uh, manifest file and everything. They will. We are going to use this Latin one only. We are not going to use any other things then recognizer everything so actually we are going to follow these same steps inside this you can follow this tutorial also in google okay so let's add this one inside the application okay dependencies inside the application and image analyzer so actually last video if you are not you not seen this uh, implementation of camera x or uh, in camera in jetpack compose camera 2 in jetpack compose means just go and visit those things and now we are going to implement only the um, these things first of all add i'll just add one modifier for this one because so because last time it's hard to find the button modifier dot uh, size is equal to 35 not is equal to sorry 35 dot dp so this ddp i need to import and this size also i need to import size that should import the size okay good okay so uh, size is imported then once the size is imported we'll add background color black okay so we can add a tint over here for icon we'll add a tint for this icon that is white color dot white okay so these two things um we added over here and we have to add one more thing alignment so because it is inside the box alignment dot bottom center bottom center dot padding 10 dot db okay this padding will add, add both the background okay okay so this is our uh, our layout is fine it's good now we are going to add a image like analyzer so in the analyzer we are going to process image analyzer dot set analyze so whatever the picture coming in the screen preview screen it will come for the analyzer to analyze we can analyze whatever so like face recognition image recognition so this is for image recognition recognition so whatever this pronunciation is you guys can do it so we are going to context compact dot get main executor context then image analyzer dot analyze so inside this we will get the image proxy as a input so in this one we are going to process our work so it's like first we need to uh, take a image out right so image is equal to image proxy dot image okay so this is is the actual image it is coming from uh, the camera so whatever the image we are getting that one image dot so if it is not null if it is not null we are going to use this image what happened okay it's an experimental api just we need to add experimental 
annotation in the top okay so that's it okay it's done now we are going to import the image in my recognizer image dot from media image that media image means that image we have no we took that from that is the media image then we have to give the degree so which degree we are going to process though I am going just going to give uh, the image analyzer not image analyzer sorry image proxy dot image info dot rotation rotation degree okay so this this is the degree so because which frame which degree we need to we are going to tell which degree the camera is we have to read in a which degree that perspection only it will read so that's why we are giving this and we are going to take a result over here this result this is the place we are going to actually use the dependency which we import recognizer let's check it is coming or not it should come wait So actually recognizer is not coming in the sense we'll check we define those things are above um, we didn't define the anywhere actually then how it will come it's bullshit okay we'll just define text recognition dot get client text recognition option gna is a dr options we'll check options only okay default option okay what is the default option you are going to so in this recognition we are going to use it over here dot process okay inside this process we are going to give this image okay then add on success listener okay so once the it is recognized it will give us the result so the thing is um, actually it will come as a column and row basics so you can take it out with the block text so you uh, if i am let me show you so it will have some blocks and uh, results L -O -C -K. block in it dot text so text will have a lot of blocks and lines okay so in this text we will have blocks so in this block we can get line block okay so each block will have each block means one uh, line means each block will have lines and each line will have elements so actually block dot lines so each line will have elements okay what is this bar for loop in must have at least iterations line lines mm. ok 
okay not text text to blocks okay text to blocks then it should have lines then this line should have element okay so this is how it will process so you can add some custom logic based on our needs okay so that is not a problem so just what i am going to show you right now i am going to add one text view over here text box in the view which means here text text for this text i am going to add one mutable remember state text mm. cell text is remember new double state of what is it what happened new double state of string okay so i'm going to take all the string and show it show it in this notable thing is equal to it dot text okay so the text will be loaded over there now i'm going to show okay So whatever the text we are adding over here it will show it over here so just i'll run the application and uh, let me let's see how it is processing import okay okay yeah let's run the application uh yeah we did some few errors actually so the thing is we need to close the image proxy first of all if you are opening we need to close the image proxy then there is two e2 over here we have to okay this one is img will change okay text no. So this is good right now i think as for now it's good let's run and check i'll run and show you so the application is running let me show you a preview where is it okay so this is how see the text over here right so whatever it is in our android studio it is scanning let me show something like this okay yeah it came in a debug you can see the text which is having inside right now i think my system is getting slow that may be a issue but let me show you so you can see the whole image it will be uh, in this one okay so image input dia whatever it is and you can see want to have block and something means you can see it over here so this each things will be a block and inside is thing it will be a element and so and so okay so you have an index and the second one this is a second block this is a third block block text okay each block text will have a element so this is the line each line will have a element i think this this doesn't have a element those things doesn't have a element okay so these are the things we can we can read a text in our camera so i think it should be fast it won't be like this very slow it will be fast for you guys i think uh, this is by performance issue so hope you uh, guys using this video to do something good in your careers thank you